Hare Krishna. Our expectation that nothing should come in our way comes in our way. Sometimes we make a plan in our life and we feel determined that you know, nothing is going to come in our way. I am going to make this happen. And we make a particular plan, we decide to follow a particular process to fulfill that plan. And sometimes one thing comes in the way, second thing comes in the way, third thing comes in the way. And we keep fighting, using all our energy. No, I'll go on, I'll go on, I'll go on. But over a period of time, we realize that this is so disheartening, we just can't continue. When we become so disheartened, then what can we do at that time? But we have to recognize that Sometimes it is, the problem is not the problem. The, our attachment to our particular way of dealing with the problem is the problem. So, if we understand this properly, then we won't let ourselves get carried away. We will turn towards Krishna and pray to Krishna. And we will, Krishna, how do you want me to serve you? We have to see that our making, up, making plans Proper plans is also an act of service to Krishna. The purpose of planning is not necessarily ex making sure the plan gets executed flawlessly. The purpose of planning is to use our intelligence to serve Krishna. And the purpose of acting is also to serve Krishna. So now, now normally an act of, a plan can give us a direction in which to move in our life. But if we get too attached to the plan, then we are getting the mood of a controller. And that's why if we get the mood of a controller, then we cannot move forwards. We need the mood of, we, we certainly have the desire to get things done, but we have to have not just a rigid attachment to our plans, but we should have flexibility about how to go about executing the plan. So if we think this is my way, nothing should come in my way. That attachment, that expectation that the world should mold itself according to my plan. That expectation itself can frustrate us. But if you understand that I have a particular purpose and this was my plan. But if this plan is not working, then let me see if there's any other process I can use to fulfill this plan. To serve this purpose. So the go-getters in life are the Kshatriyas. And Krishna describes their qualities in the 18th chapter, 43rd verse, when he states that, he says one quality he says is that Ishwar Bhav. Ishwar Bhav is the, the, the mood of taking initiative, taking charge of leading, which includes planning and brainstorming. But then another quality is Dhruti Daksham, that there is a resourceful. Shauryam Tejo Dhruti Daksham Yudhe Chapya Palayanam Dhanam Ishwara Bhavascha Chatram Karma Swabhavajam So, so it is that they are resourceful, they are expert, they are know how to get things done. So the, they are not attached to the plan, they are attached to the purpose. So when we understand that our purpose is primarily not just to translate our plan into reality, but to fulfill our purpose for the service of Krishna, then we plan for the service of Krishna and we do what is required when facing reality. Okay, this is coming in my way and I can't push this out of the way. Then I'll find some other way to move on. I will not be attached to my plan. I'll be attached to my purpose of serving Krishna. And with this mood of positive purposefulness, we will not be attached to our expectations. And sometimes the biggest block is not the opposition that we are facing. The biggest block is our resentment at the presence of the opposition, at the resentment, at our inability to push aside the opposition, our attachment to going ahead only by pushing aside that opposition. But if instead of saying, why am I not able to do, why am I not able to do this? If instead we ask, Krishna, how can I serve you now? And Krishna will show us some other way ahead. And something may come in our way, but we'll find some other way to move on. Such is the determined resourcefulness of a devotee of Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna.